Good evening and welcome to the Town of Tewksbury Zoning Board of Appeals. Today is November 30th, 2023, and I'd like to call the meeting to order. First on the agenda, we have a continued hearing from Ambassador Pools on behalf of, please excuse me because I butcher names, so I'm just saying it now, so I'm sorry. Um, Cho Siang and Khan Han. Sounds about right. Did I do all right? I, I think so. Okay, good. Come Please come on up, um, have a seat, and uh, name and address, and then tell us a little bit about what's okay. going on. And when did you last come? So here? we didn't, I, I'm Debbie, I'm from Ambassador Pools. I think we did, it was a few months ago, right? And then we extended it. So I didn't get it in the paper in time for right. last month's meeting, okay. so we did do a continuation. Okay. Um, right. So it's for Five Fox Run Drive, um, the Chow Chows. I, I butcher their name every time. Okay, good. I, I just want to make sure it's Her not Her name is lot. Sine. That's... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so they are looking to put a pool in their backyard. Okay, yep. We saw um, when I had applied for the permit, we were told that it had to stay behind the front line of the house. And right. we did that as a line parallel from the corner of the house to the side, through the side yard. They told us that because the house is at an angle, it needs to go follow that angle to the back. It's the line drawn on the plan that you're looking at, the one yeah, that goes like kind of through now. the pool and right. the decking. Yep. Yeah. So it's about seven and a half feet the furthest point is seven and a half feet past that line. They do have a white fence that goes from the corner of the house directly across. All right, that was gonna be one of my questions. So yes. to do it sideways, a little tacky with the fence. The fence is still in an angle kind of too, isn't it? It's a very slight angle, yes. Yeah. But it does not follow that same No, it path. doesn't. Because if you did angle it in that section, it would almost touch the, or be really close to that fence. If you keep it there. Is there any reason why you can't angle it? Because it's an above ground, right? It is an above ground. We still wouldn't be able to fit the pool and the deck, even if we turned it. We would be too close to the rear setback. It would push the back corner too far. Do you have a drawing of what it will look like? The not, pool itself? Not at an angle, no. Or even the way it sits today? The way you want to have it put in? Do you have it drawn out what the deck and the pool would look like? Yes. We did. The pool's not up, but this is a newer from the, an engineer that we had go out. I think it's very slightly different than that one, but not. It's more direct. Okay. I would say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's. <clears throat> Almost half the pool is off. Okay. And that's including the eight foot deck that's in the back of the pool. Okay. Um, Mike or Dan, do you have any questions? I don't. So on the plot plan, on the original one that you put in with your application, there's that dotted line that's around the pool. Is that the fence? Yeah. Because it's yes. not on the new diagram. Yes. Did. No, he didn't put the fences on. There is a fence on fence. the back and the right side. So the pool is completely yes. surrounded by a fence. That's all I have. Okay. Being an open hearing, um, if anybody has anything they want to add, please go up to the podium and name and address 
for the board, please. Hi, my name is Joni Spear. My address is 149 Pike Street. So this is um, on the side of my property that this, the pool would be um, on the right side. Okay. So I, um, a lot of the questions she answered for me before um, she showed me the, because I wasn't sure which plot plan it was. That was, that was my initial question. So the first five questions I have are answered. <laughs> um, so as far as I can find online, um, the I was as far as I was aware of what I could find, the pool has to be 15 feet from the property line is what I could find for laws. And I just wanted to clarify that. Um, so based on the diagram that she gave me, it would be closer than that, the corner of the, the pool. But this new one, it's, it's a little further at the angle, but it does go in front of the house. Um, <clears throat> so the other uh, question I had was how would they be planning to drain the pool? Um, and the only reason I'm concerned is because the treated water would impact if it was drained just or if it did, you know, something happened to the pool and it, there was an issue with it structurally. I, I can't imagine that would be a drain company, but... I'm, I'm sorry, um, drained, why would you drain a pool? Do you need to drain an above ground pool? No. No. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. No. See, I'm, I'm not familiar with the pools. That's I've okay. never had an above ground pool. So I was worried about the, the local wetlands and, and my garden. Yep, nope, you don't drain a pool. You've okay. Good to know. Um, I was also wondering how the construction would impact my property. Um, when they did put the fence up, there was a lot of construction going on. A lot of um, my trees were taken down. And, you know, I just don't want to go through that again. <laughs> um, so I was very concerned about that um, and the disruption. And I, I had um, workers on my property and things like that. So I wasn't sure, like, what what would be um, what would that look like? So nobody should be able to go onto your property line at all, especially now that the fence is up. It's pretty much already separated. Okay. And people know not to pass it, I would hope mm -hmm. and assume. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any reason that right. they would need there to should even. should be no reason that anybody go, go okay. into anybody's I just didn't property. Know the scale of this, it just seems so large that right. with putting the deck, I didn't know if they would. There was a lot of reasons they had for what they did for putting the fence up, like that they needed my fence down, they needed the trees down, they needed all the bushes down, just so they could put up their fence. I was very confused, so. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that. And the, um, okay, so it'll be, you'll be able to access it with the way the fence is now. Yes, the they deck. should be, yes. Always address the board, yes. so yes. They should be able oh, to. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no need to <laughs> apologize. Um, I. Nobody needs to go on anybody's property to do okay. the work. Okay, thank you. So you. The, the fence is up, you it said? It is the fence up. Is, yes. And between your property, um, it's already up? Yes, the back, all, all around okay. the area that they're yeah, adding. Yeah, so the, to pull the it. fence, yeah, is the whole line of the property um, dividing us, and then it goes um, along the, the, you know, the roadway and then towards the back to, back to the front of the house. So it kind of connects around mm -hmm. and loops around. And, um, and it is up on a hill, sort of, so it slopes up. So when you're looking at it, you can kind of still, even though there's a fence all the way around it, you can clearly see everything inside the fence. Like if, if anyone's back there or, and right. I've actually seen like their balls and it wasn't their ball, it was another neighbor's ball, but I was like, hey, is this your ball? And you know, you can, there's really no privacy even though there's a fence there. So it's, yeah, it's kind of the, the landscape of the property mm -hmm. is just conducive of that. So my other question would be, would this impact my property value at all with the, what I just mentioned about how I can see everything and, you know, if, if I was going to, I'm not planning on selling, but if I was going to, you know, having this giant pool and deck like right in front of, you know, view and being able to see into it, is, is that? I can't answer you know? that question. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. It's we're okay. not realtors and we're not, <laughs> we're... I mean, I, I can't answer that. On, okay. In all honesty, I, I don't know. All right, thank you. Um, and then the, just the main point would be that, you know, this sort of the, the size of this pool and the, um, the type of property, how it's on a corner lot, isn't really conducive for this type of pool, the size of it and, you know, and how close it is to the road. The, it's a very busy road. Um, I know if anyone's driven down Pike, it's narrow. It's people go right. 40, even though it says 25. And so that was my other concern was that safety and that. But that would be all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're 
setback is 15. And that's why we're here. But they're not asking. That's the problem. They're not asking for 532. They're asking for 531E. Or five three one. But that's what she didn't pass. Was that? That's what the building inspector wrote. I know. That's what I'm asking you. So if you look at this, <coughs> they're looking for a variance for five three one e three. So five three one e three. That's a. That's why. So e three a detached accessory structure should be located in the same lot and behind the front building. Yeah, that's the yeah, right that's line. That's the right line. But but the issue. Yeah, fifteen. It's eleven. So we, do they need 5312? Let me get another customer. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Sorry. Katie Curtis, and I live across um, the street at 138 Pike Street, and, and I'm also objecting to the um, construction of the pool, mostly just due to the area that it's in and the, um, the road being very narrow and busy, as Joni just said, and um, just the aesthetics of like what they're proposing to do, because um, our the front of our yard obviously we look very much like diagonally into their yard as well. So I'm also objecting to it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, do you have any questions? Go ahead. Uh, can I talk to you just one one more second? Uh, me? The first first person was welcome. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Yeah. Um, my question would be, um, are you here to object or is for information? Oh, yeah, I am objecting. Okay, so you're here to object yes. and this wasn't an information. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm All right, sorry, I didn't catch I didn't that. Thank, that. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's here. Um, as far as, I mean, her concern, I get, I understand that concern, people kind of being on your property. And, oh, absolutely. But that's something we did discuss with the homeowners, that part of the front fence would actually come down so that our guys can be in and out, that there's no reason for us to ever be on anybody else's property. Right. Okay. Close both parts of the hearing. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, you guys want to talk about this for a yeah. second? Huh? I'm okay. Uh, you good to vote? Or? Yes, yeah. Okay. All right, somebody make a motion, please. Make a motion for uh, Bassler Pools on behalf of. Uh, Cho Sin Bun Hun for variance under section 55.3.1 E3 of the Tukri zoning bylaw for an accessory structure located in front of the principal building line to install a 12 foot by 24 foot above ground pool as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at 5 Fox Run Drive, assesses map 21, lot 117, zoned residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. So it's declined. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay. Next item up for hearing is John and Erica Lund for a variance under section 5.3.1E3 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for side setbacks to install a 16 by 32 in-ground pool as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at 16 County Road, Assessor's Map 105, Lot 20, Zoned Residential. Name and address for the board, please, and a little bit about what you're doing. How you doing? John Lund, Erica Lund, 16 County Road, looking to do an in-ground pool. Uh, 16 by 32. Um, the only reason that we're here is for setback purposes. Yeah. Um, and it is, if you're looking at the front of the house, it would be your left hand side, which is County Road, and our back neighbor um, would be impacted as well, that the back fence. So the reason that we're trying to do this is to fit it in with our existing fence now, um, which it's, to answer your question, Daniel, it's completely fenced in as of right now. Um, and we needed to kick it over 
to make it work with our current situation. And it's behind the house. It is behind the front of the house. Yeah. Weird one. Um, I believe on the county road side, that would be 25 feet yeah. for a um, frontage. Is mm -hmm. that correct? And then, so we're looking for 10 feet off the property line there. Plus and then you. On the back side, we're looking for six feet. See. So the reason for the six feet is if you see um, the approximate location of the water line where it comes through from the corner that, com that comes in from yep. the street, that will go give us even more room to dig and kind of be out of the way. Um, if that makes sense to you. It does. It's a vinyl liner type pool, steel wall, um, salt water pool. It's the way oh. to go, salt water. <laughs> Thank you. Abramo pools. Um, I know them well. Yeah. Mike? <clears throat> yeah, the owner? Yeah. So far, so good. Phil, Phil Abramo, I know. Yeah? Yeah. He's a nice guy. Good. Yeah. I was hoping you were going to say that. That's a, really <laughs> a very nice guy. Mm -hmm. Good. So that still allows for the 14, almost 15 feet yeah. from the corner of the house. Um, if it means anything to you, the sewer line comes in from the front. Okay. So the only utility lines are coming in from the county roadside. Um, they should be According to Mike, they should be nowhere near that as far as digging. Okay, do you guys have any questions? I'm confused on why they're asking for E3. Mm -hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? Five? Yeah. So five, three, one, E. E three tat tat detached accessory structure shall be located on the same lot and behind the front building line, mm -hmm. ten feet from the principal building, oh. ten feet from any side or rear. Okay, so side. this guy right here. Okay, perfect. So originally, the first pool guy we had, um, we didn't even think we were going to have to get a variance, Daniel, because of exactly what you said. The frontage side was right. the one that came it's up the after the side on the side, right? Because yeah. you're a the, corner lot. Yes, everything's exactly. front. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I'm learning. Yes. <laughs> I'm a plumber, but you know. Everything's front when you're a corner lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Mike, Dan, any questions so far? No. All right. It being an open hearing, anybody have anything they want to add? Say. Nobody okay? All right. I'd like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, you guys ready for yep. a motion? I'd like to make a motion to approve John and Erica Lund for variance under section 5.3.1 E3 of the Tuxbury zoning bylaw for side setbacks to install a 16 by 32 in ground pool as shown in plans filed with this board said property is located at 16 County Road, Assessors Map 105, Lot 20, zoned residential. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Thanks, Thank Tom. you. Thank Appreciate you so much, it. guys. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. It's okay if I put in a motion to approve the meeting minutes from last week. Last week. Well, I got to do that. We can do that next. Mike? I'd like to make a motion to approve the meeting minutes for September 28th, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next up is Marie Boisvert on behalf of Christine Waddle and Bruce Murphy for a variance under section 5.3.2 of the Tuxbury Zoning Bylaw for side setbacks to construct a 16 by 15 mudroom with 16 by six farmer's porch as shown on plans filed with the board. Said property is located at 1558 Whipple Road, assessor's map 56, lot 189, zoned residential. Name and address for the board, please. Uh, Marie Boisvert. <clears throat> uh, I'm here on behalf of them, um, 1558 Whipple Road. 
I'm Christine at 1558 Whipple. Okay. I'm Bruce Murphy from 1558 Whipple. Great. Um, can you just uh, talk to us about what you're doing? Yeah, so uh, uh, they'd like to build a mudroom coming off the, if you're standing in front of the house, coming off the left side of the house. Um, and that is where we'd be getting a little close to the um, neighbor's yards, the side yard. Um, only it leaves 3.3 feet um, between the mudroom and the fence. Um, so that's why we're here for the variance. Bear with me, I'm just trying to look at all of them. Take your time. You should get some beautiful pictures in there. Do you have any blueprints for the what you guys are gonna build? <coughs> I'm sorry. What you're gonna build, the deck yes. and the Yep. Um Where's the letter of denial? It should be in there. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. You, but you don't have anything that shows, oh, is this it? Oh, this yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. Thank you. Existing deck against the pool. Are you going to keep the deck now that's already there with the pool? Uh, yes, so that's... <clears throat> and what about the other deck in the back of the house? Yeah, so... Exit deck, exit deck, existing decks. You have so you'll have three decks in that. So those are all existing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this on the side. Here. Yeah, that's the proposed. Yeah. But I was curious if you were still keeping the rare ones. Yeah. Okay. So one of them is attached to the pool, which is detached from the house. Okay. Yeah. And the other one is just like when you walk out the door. If if the deck wasn't there, you'd. Okay. Be, you know, it's like a yep. 10, 8, I don't know. I'm that's good. Okay. Drop, you know what I mean? That makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a No, that's okay. It. Yeah, it's, compl it's, you know, uh, completely separate from that, so we don't even need to get near any of those decks. Not near the back of the house at all. Okay. So you're putting an addition there and a farmer's porch? Correct. Yes. On that same Is side the of the house. Single, single one floor? Yes. Is it a four-season room or is it a three-season room, uh, that addition part? As of right now, three-season. <clears throat> That's pretty close. How much it's very close. How much of a burden is it on you to bring that proposed addition back down towards the front part because it, you end up, it's almost like it's... So you've got the electrical, um, the main, the, uh, right in front of that kind of. That's mm -hmm. where all the, that's where the main line comes in. So yeah. that's why it's flush with the back corner of the house. Um, so, you know, we, we are using as much of the side of the house right there as we can without interfering with the electrical um, and uh, just based on, you know, based on the house, that's the best place for it. So I think what you're saying, if, if we went forward, 
right. it would be closer to the neighbor's house, actually. Okay. This way, um, up. Towards okay. Whipple Road. Whipple Road. Towards Whipple Road, we'd be closer to the neighbor's house that way. What? Uh, no, if he not brings it up this no, way. He's not the, the way, way it's looking. Proposed. Right. No. no. It'd be closer oh, to the okay. street, not closer to the neighbor. Okay. I see, yeah, no, I see what you mean. Yeah, so that was that it was the reason. wouldn't sit flush with the house. Correct. Right. Flush right. with the back of the house. Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> What's in between you and your neighbor? Is there a fence there? Is it just open? There's a fence, yeah. There's a, so that your proposed addition will just be three feet from that fence? Yep. What type of fence is it? It's a vinyl fence. Is it a, top, a tall white vinyl. Oh. Will the addition be taller than the fence? Yes. The roof would be above the fence, yeah. It's close. <clears throat> Do you guys have any other questions? I don't have any. Yeah. I don't either, no. All right, it being an open hearing, anybody have anything they want to add? No? Did we have close both parts of the hearing? No. I'd like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You guys ready to vote? Sure. Um, yeah. All right. Motion for Marie Bovius on behalf of uh, Christine Waddle and Bruce Murphy for a variance on the section 5.3.2 of the Cook Street Zoning Bylaw for a side setbacks to construct a 16 foot by 15 foot mud room with a 16 foot by 6 foot farmer's porch as shown on the plans with this board. Said property is located at 1558 Whipple Road. Assesses map 56, lot 189, zone residential. Second. All in favor? Dan? It's not good. No. No? No. No. Sorry. Sorry. Is there anything we can do to, I mean, it's to change your mind? <clears throat> That's Bring really, it really, close really close. Road. So basically we'd have to go back. If you could put, rearrange your decks in the back and put the addition in the back, that's probably the only way you can fit it. What if, if they, um, how many feet would be acceptable? Like what if it was 15 feet wide instead of 16 feet wide? 15 feet is the setback. You have to be 15 feet away and we give variances up to like 10, sometimes nine. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've gotten depending close, on the situation. but three is really That's close. That's very, very and, close. And where the roof line is even taller than where the, the fence is. I mean, I, I think it would just seem like it's right on their on their property when it's that. <laughs> yeah, I told about it. I talked to them about it, and the the problem is this this lot is very weird shape. Yeah, it's, so yeah. we are like set back on Whipple, and every other house is more towards the street. Mm -hmm. um, the so it's like it abuts his like backyard where, like his woods are. You know what I mean? So it's not like abutting his house. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if that makes any difference. Yeah. It does. It, it, does it does make a big difference. <laughs> but. Because okay. this is just trees and stuff, right? Like where you're looking right across, this is like a, a yard and trees. His house is up here. Yeah, like it's way like up on here. the street. And he said, he was like, he goes, if you need to use 10 feet of my land, go ahead. I mean. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, we wouldn't. Yeah, we yeah. wouldn't, but. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, the, no, I know. I question know. for you, though. On the right side, it says you have 27 feet there. I'm sorry? On the other side of the house, it says you have 27 feet to the to the property line. So this is a mudroom so that when you enter the house, there's oh, okay. no door over there. Saying. So you get the driveway right there. So right. you just walk to the end of the driveway, walk in. Yeah. Um, Even if we put the four the lot lines, it's still right, it would be weird. That, so that's what I mean. If we came forward, we would be closer to their house because they're closer to the street. I, I don't know if that makes any sense. But if we went forward, 
it would be next to their house instead of next to the woods in their backyard. Do you know what I mean? Would it still be three feet from the fence, from the property line? Well, there is an offense angle, further up. The angle as you go up towards the road will get greater. It would get wider, right? Yeah. So you get further away. Yeah. Do you know if you'd get to a point where you're closer to the side setback? Would you Not get sure. closer? It's 15 feet. It, it would be closer to their house instead of closer to. But would, how far would it be from the property line? Yeah, that's the stuff. That's yeah. the thing. I don't. Right. That's why you're there. <coughs> so if I think it would be right on the property line. Actually. If you went forward. Yeah. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's the front setback uh, on the front of the mud room? Oh, this. Where the uh, front corner goes to. Oh, the I don't. Side. Yeah, yeah I don't have that. Um, that's like that's like six feet there. I think it's more than six feet. Yeah. And so as you go out down that driveway, the way the lock shape is just, it's it, it be. goes like on an angle. So what, I don't know if you can answer, but what would be the maximum, what, what would be the minimum we'd need to stay away from that? Your, your aim should be 15 feet. And if you can't get to that and you bigger, then you come for a variance and we'd look at it. But three okay. feet's really, really close. Okay. So you're, 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 Margin of error is like ten feet over, five feet over. It d depending on the situation, right? Depending yeah, on what the neighbor is, depending on if, <clears throat> if neighbors come in here and say they're against yep. it, it's there's so all both, situational. So both of their like close neighbors are completely One fine with it, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, previous jobs that I've done, I'm not, not necessarily Tewksbury, but um. We've gotten pretty close, which is why I was just thought that this would be. Yeah, that's really close. It's the closest I've seen so far, I think. Mm -hmm. So if if I'm saying if we went to fifth, fifth, because right now it's 16 feet wide. So if we went to like 15 feet or something like that, where you're You'd getting still four be really and a half close. feet, that's still really close. You want to be more towards the 10 area. 15 is the uh, the limit. It's narrower. But you have options. Okay. But that's really close. Okay. So there's nothing we can do really to keep Not it today. there unless we get that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a happy holiday. Thank you. You sorry. too. I'm sorry. Uh, next, we have uh, Jeffrey Borstel under Mass General Laws, Chapter 40A, Section 8, as a party aggrieved by a decision made by the building inspector in a letter dated October 16, 2023, to remodel accessory building currently being used as storage into a separate dwelling unit. Said property is located at 155. I know. 155 Pleasant Street, Assessors Map 47, Lot 39, Zoned Residential. And this application was uh, requested for withdrawal without prejudice. Those? Point of order. Uh, in the minutes, uh, Jesse Norris should have been next. I'll call that one next. Oh, sorry. No, no, know. it's fine. I'm sorry. No, I just know it's, 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 it's yeah. okay to write. Yeah. I skipped over it. My no, uh, my, my apologies. <laughs> Jesse Norris on behalf of Taylor uh, Goudreau. Goudreau, I'm sorry if I... Goudreau, thank you. Uh, for a variance under Section 5.3.1 E3 of the Tewksbury Zoning Bylaw for an accessory structure located in front building line of the principal structure within 10 feet of the principal structure as shown plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 100 Benton Ridge Road, Accessors Map 111 Lot 68, Zoned Residential. Ooh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> uh, name and address for the board, please, and uh, uh, just give us a quick rundown of what's happening, please. Sure. Uh, so I'm Jesse Norris with the Boston Solar Company um, on behalf of Taylor um, at, for 100 Benton Ridge Road. 
My name is Taylor Goodrow. I am the landowner at 100 Brook and Inch Road. Um, to give a little bit of background on the project, uh, I had reached out to Boston Solar Company in order to um, install solar options on our property. Um, I had reached out to the town last year in regards to this uh, carport for solar. Um, and I had spoke with Mark Bertanassi, um, who was the building commissioner at the time. Um, we had a conversation where I talked about um, the Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Subsection 3, which discusses subjects which zoning may not regulate, um, and in regards to solar. And uh, as part of that email chain, and I have copies if you guys would like, um, basically the end result of that email chain coming from Mark said, hi, to be in front of your house, it needs to be less than 10 feet away from the house and 20 feet foot from the pro front property line and 15 feet from the sideline. If more than 10 feet from the house, it can't be in front. Um, about 11 months later, after this email, came to, we had finalized our plans to meet the requirements here. We submitted our building permit application and it was de denied. Um, my understanding is that Mark retired and Leo is the new building commissioner. And I forwarded this email, which Leo was copied on originally to Leo and he still denied it, saying it was a accessory structure in front of the house. Um, I have copies of the email chain. I also have copies of the Mass General Law um, regarding the zoning uh, issues. So I think that's the, uh, the overall gist of the project. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. You said you had prior, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm just jumping the gun here. No, no, please go ahead. You said you had prior approval from the town? Was it the, ins the inspector? We were, it was the building commissioner at the time. You okay. have that in an email? Yeah, I have copies of it if Can you I want see it? to. Yeah. Was that included in your packet? I don't think so. That was not included in the packet. No. Should have been in hindsight. It would have helped. That's okay. Do you have a, uh, a picture of the proposed carport? Uh, we have some drawings. Sketches. Yeah, there, there should be one in the Thank you. in the okay, packet thank there. You. This is not a great. Like, you don't have. Thank you. You don't have one that's. I can see what it looks like, right? This is. Yeah, sorry, it's not, not very great. So this this is the home in the background here. Yep. Yep. And, and so this is the garage. carport here. Correct. And it would sit right in front of the garage like that. Correct. Do you want to see that, Mike? Yeah. Oh, that's garage carport. going to be closer than 10 feet from the house, right? It's going to be within 10 feet of the house. Yeah, it's only going to be a few feet from the so house. So the, the, the beginning of the email says to be in the front of your house, it needs to be less than 10 feet, 10 feet. From? Will be, right? From the house. I guess it depends on what you mean by like within, like the edge, like the... F from the front of the house. Or the from the front of the house, there will be less than 10 feet before the structure starts. To be in front of the house, it needs to be less than 10 feet away from the house and 25 feet from the front property line and 15 feet from the sideline. <coughs> and it is, right? And it is on all those accounts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, so the problem is Mark was okay with what she drew up. And then Leo came in. I'm not sure if Leo was aware of the general law. Um, Mark might have looked into it, uh, whereas if Leo didn't like 
go through the email chain. He wouldn't have known necessarily. <coughs> He's considering it a detached accessory. Who is Leo? Yeah. Yeah. Because and he's saying here it shall. Oh, the uh, one that Leo declined. Shall the night. not be closer than to, to ten feet. When did he take off? Shall not be located is... nearer than ten. Feet. This is October second, though, right? The denial. Yes. And the email chain starts on November 1st. Of last year. Last year's mm -hmm. approval. Right in front of me. <laughs> I think you typoed this. Just if, if we give her a variance, are we giving her the right one? Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. it's this one, yes, we are. That's right. Okay. This is right, but this is wrong. Did you say you had a copy of the, the Master on the Law right here? Yes. Yep. Is it in the, in the packet? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. I have the, uh, I have the relevant section. Section 40, section 40 is it? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that kind of leaves it up to. I can see why you would question it, Leo. Do you guys have any other questions? Yeah, I think so. Before I open it up? You can open it up. Okay. So, if anybody has anything they'd like to add? No? I'd like to make a motion to approve Jesse Norris on behalf of Taylor Goudreau. 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 For a variance under section 5.3.1 E3 of the Tuxbury Zoning Bylaw for an accessory structure located in the front of the front building line of the principal structure and within 10 feet of the principal structure as shown on plans filed with this board said property is located at 100 Breckenridge Road, assesses map 111, lot 68, zoned residential. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, next on the agenda. Um, uh, 2024 meeting calendar. Uh, I just have, well, it's unofficial business technically at this point because our, we've been having issues with our builder and our builder permit. He's been saying that he expects that it's been rejected, but online it comes through as approved. Although I know that with the placement and survey of the survey of our lot lines, the placement of our deck. Could uh, I just ask, I'm sorry, could you come up to the podium oh, yeah, and please give your name and address yeah, for the board? No worries. <laughs> So we know who we're addressing? Yep, sorry. Uh, hi, my name is Brian Chartel. I live at 5 Campbell Circle in Tewksbury. Um, so uh, according to building permit 23414, uh, we are looking to have our deck replaced as a safety issue. 
It was originally unpermitted along with our garage and the issue that arose was we had a survey completed to determine where our lot lines lie and with our garage. Uh, it, since our, both our garage and deck were unpermitted, they, it, and it turns out that they were over the lot line to Tewksbury for lot behind is what it's called because there's four Campbell Circle, which our neighbor Eleanor Beatty lives at, and then Tewksbury four behind, which is mostly um, uninhabitable. It's wetland, I believe. Uh, the building permit has been approved with all the conservation exemptions. Um, my questions pretty much is that we, it, I'm trying to think of a good way to say this. Um, do you foresee an issue if we have created a legal document of um, allowing fair use, maintenance, and assumption of liability from our neighbor? Conservation is signed off, and um, all of the other uh, signatures that are required for a building permit to be issued have been received. Uh, do you foresee any other issues or requirements that we would need to have our deck rebuilt? I can't answer that without seeing or knowing okay. full plans or really you would probably have to work with the, the office team okay. that could help you with that. Yeah. Yes. Our builder said he like we've had a, a whole back and forth, and so yeah, you're it's, just gonna have um, to work with bevy of miscommunications. But I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, um, yep. I apologize. There's no yep. way we could answer that. No, I absolutely inspector, understand. The inspector it's, would be able to help you out. Town oh, inspector yeah. would be your first bet of the town inspector. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. His I name believe, is Leo Betancourt. I believe he has already signed off since the building you permit has have been all issued. The permits and stuff. Yeah, um, nothing's been denied. Nothing has been denied. So you could go yeah. to the you could go to the um, the office and pick up a permit. Yeah, I expect so. I, it's just it seems odd because due to the survey, our deck appears to be over the line, uh, and it wasn't. There were no rejections. Per that, but I would just go back to them. I don't know what ha what's no, happening understand. with you. It's, it was more of just that kind of thing yeah. based off of, again, what I've seen tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you. Have a good night. You're welcome. You, you as well. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, did we withdraw that last one already? I did withdraw did. that one, yes. Okay, so the only thing we have left is just bringing up our 2024 meeting calendar. I'd like um, to make a motion to approve the 2024 Town of Tewksbury Zoning Board of Appeals meeting calendar. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, well that uh, concludes the um, Zoning Board of Appeals for today. Um, and a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.